Sergeant Merrick here. Boom. Glad everybody is uh, sticking around for videos. Uh, tried to make a couple there over the weekend, and they kind of seem to disappear off into the ether. So uh, I'll just uh, cover what I got uh, for Sunday. And on Sunday, I picked up a couple of uh, trades. You know, me late to the party, but on recommendation of uh, a couple people from the comic book roundtable, Oddfellow Thoughts, I have picked up uh, Miss Marvel, the second trade. Uh, Barnes & Noble had it as one of its prominent books. Uh, I also found God Thor, God of Thunder, the Accursed. So that's number three in the series. I have the first one in digital format and the second one I purchased and now I got that one. And uh, at my comic book store uh, last Wednesday I did happen to pick up this one, Justice League 3000 and uh, that's number two, uh, The Camelot War. Uh, so of those three, you know, I definitely did enjoy Miss Marvel, the uh, first uh, trade paperback. Uh, you know, it was definitely a uh, strong new character that came out. It really, you know, she really established herself. Uh, it's been fun read, and it's, you know, such a new take on a, on a character. I've enjoyed it. The uh, Thor, you may know that I am, uh, as you can see over my boom shoulders, Thor. I'm a big fan, and I always enjoy the multiple interpretations. I am reading the, pulling the current, uh, issues with the new female Thor and uh, you know had to touch back on the old one so uh, the Justice League 3000 I am not a uh, even though wearing the Superman shirt not a dedicated DC fan uh, definitely was more of a Marvel fanboy so I don't need uh, strict interpretations of my characters with DC very often so the take on the Justice League 3000 was enjoyable it's this uh, Futuristic, you know, and, you know, another thousand years into the future, and so now there's all this wonderful space action. Earth is kind of now a prison planet after it's nearly been destroyed. Justice League has been reincarnated, and I've definitely been enjoying the story, and so I uh, can't wait to dig into that one. That one I already have kind of started reading. Also, with uh, you know the wonderful Age of Ultron coming. Um, you know, making, was it 200 million overseas? So, you know, what are they going to do? You know, as it hits here and premieres this weekend, don't forget free comic book, uh, day. It's coming up, uh, Saturday, May 2nd. Uh, get to your shops, uh, support your lovely habit. Of course, the, one of the bad habits I have is while going through the stores, I get hooked with all the wonderful knickknacks and bric a brac and all that other good stuff. So, Came across this uh, Age of Ultron bobblehead figure, and you know, uh, on the back, you know, you they show who your chances are. You know, one in twelve of getting these people. So it's all the 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 regular Avengers. You know, Iron Man, Cap, Thor, Hulk, uh, Hawkeye, uh, Black Widow, Samuel Jackson, uh, Nick Fury. The Vision, and then uh, three other Iron Man armors, and Ultron. So it says 1 in 12 to collect them all. Um, it's a blind, you know, blind bag, blind purchase. Um, I think this range is about $6 or so. Um, you know, and so I always usually at least pick up one. I mean, you know, 1 in 12 chance, you're going to get something good, so... Uh, I don't necessarily need to collect them all. Uh, you know, I'm not an avid collector of these things. It just, I had a couple extra bucks in my pocket. So, of course, it comes in this little bag. You're trying to guess. You know, I almost thought the head was detached there for a moment. Um, you know, I'm guessing Iron Man. I mean, there's lots of Iron Man in here. So, yeah, try not to cut the character or jab myself with the knife. And we have Ultron. So uh, kind of surprised by that one. So I got the got the Ultron. Uh, as you can see, mm -hmm, little bobblehead there. 
Um, don't really bobble too much. It might be something due to the spring. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I don't do too much with Ultron. Don't, you know, I've read a couple issues with Ultron in it. Uh, definitely not one of my favorite characters. So I think uh, some friend of mine may be, uh, be getting lucky and getting that one off of me. So just store that over there. Um, another blind purchase is these little tiny characters. Uh, they usually fit on zippers, so they go in your bag or whatever. And on this one, I could not tell you how many different ones there are. Um, the comic book look uh, guys, John, uh, he's a buddy of mine, and I had Silver Surfer and Thanos. Not really too much in the cosmic, but I know he is, so I definitely kicked those over to him. It was a you know, they were they're nice little guys that fit on these bags, but you know, if I'm not gonna get a full enjoyment out of them, I might as well get them to somebody who will. And here we are. We got ourselves an Iron Man right here. So I'll be popping that on my bag. So you got the little string in that, the little clip. So that it goes very nicely right there onto the bag, or if you wanted to carry it. Not entirely sure how or why. Maybe for other display purposes. I mean, that's what I tend to do. And two other things I got. These were not blind purchases. Um, one of the things I do collect are the uh, string dolls of both Marvel and DC. I've really enjoyed the characters. And we have ourselves Captain America there. It's made out of kind of a yarn string material. So it's uh they're kind of like almost like little voodoo dolls. The as you can see there, this is the little boxes they come in. The string doll Marvel. And other string doll I got was Mr. Looks like Silver Age, Mr. Barry Allen himself, the Flash. So well, I definitely enjoy those, and I was very happy to get the, the ones I do have, so, you know, uh, there's definitely nothing wrong with Mr. Ultron, it's just uh, I'm not deep into the, the reading with him or anything, so, you know, one of those guys that'll just have to go over to someone else's house, so. Uh, once again, thankful for watching this video, you know me, I... You know, I like my reading my trades, a uh, couple pulls, but mainly yeah, it's whatever the eye catches. I get hooked on the little trinkets and baubles, and uh, that's how my collection grows. So continue watching the videos, continue enjoying your day, and catchphrase.